one. Look at that. Episode 363 of A2 The Show. And we're international now. We got a guy in Los Angeles, a guy in London, and the so guy in Japan. Can you change it again? Because my roommate come back home. It's like a kind of... Uh, That's fine. <laughs> we will pause. Get him, get him, get him in. Get him in. Recording. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a university student friend, not female. You know, just a male. Yeah. I'm so shocked. Uh, Hello. Oh, what's up, man? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> That's all good. All right, let's rewind. <laughs> Um, another episode, we got a guy in Los Angeles, a guy in UK, and a guy in Japan, Mashida, Japanese comedian, Mashida. Yes, Thank you so I believe I'm a right. Japanese comedian. Thank you. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, Mashida, can you tell us a little bit about how you got into stand-up comedy in Japan? Uh, yeah, first of all, I believe I'm a stand-up comedian, but in Japan, people call me I'm employed <laughs> 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 yeah I, I I used to be a typical Japanese employee I worked at internet company almost five years and then I quit my job you know and I went to I love stand-up comedy yeah and then I quit my job went to the UK uh, to the comedy I stayed there almost like uh, 10 months so and then when I came back to Tokyo I started organizing English stand-up comedy shows for foreign tourists and introduce Japanese culture in a funny way using stand-up. So I would have my solution almost 300 times. Yeah, but wow. of course under this pandemic, I can do that. You know, instead, I started uploading YouTube videos very seriously. Yeah, so, and of course right. now I can make a living as a stand-up comedian. So yeah, I'm working as a video creator, a writer, you know, sometimes. You know, Amazing. I uh, I really love your YouTube videos. They're really, 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 really funny. Uh, all right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Uh, my friend Ali here from Jordan is coming from the Middle East. So he'll be joining in also. So another surprise guest. What a wild episode. <laughs> I want to ask you, Mashida. Yes. Yeah. Um, hello, Ali. We're in the middle of a podcast right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. We're here with a YouTuber, Japanese yeah. comedian, Mashida. Thank you. Hajime mimimashita. Oh, thank you. Hajime mimimashita. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. What's the, the question? Do you like uh, doing the stand-up comedy more or the YouTube videos more? Uh, now, I'm I get, I'm used to, you know, uploading video on YouTube because mm -hmm. I can edit a lot, you know. That's good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to, be honest, to be honest, when I upload my stand-up video on YouTube, I edit a lot, you know. <laughs> That's so funny. I edit a laugh. You remove you know? out all the hecklers and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though no one laugh, I just edit a laugh, you know. I just laugh <laughs> like a sitcom, and I look so good. I really love YouTube now. Wow, I look so good, comedian, you know. Yeah. <laughs> now I can go back to the live show, you know. I think. <laughs> so how's COVID in Japan? Is this live show is gonna come back anytime soon, or what's it looking like? Uh, to be honest, actually now. In Japan, I'm living in Tokyo, right. and last month, uh, our state of emergency was lifted, so now we go back to normal. Actually, two times a week, I perform. Yeah, that's really good. Show. Wow, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So you said you uh, you do live shows for for tourists, right? And no, how's no, that? No. Uh, for business, I mean, before I organized a paid show for foreign tourists, but. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also organize a show for like uh, local people, local foreigners, or like Japanese people who can speak, who can understand English, you know. So mm -hmm. like uh, there are many expats and then foreigners who work in, in Japan and Tokyo. So and nowadays uh, we have maybe in Tokyo forty or fifty comedians exist, English speaking, you know, English comedians. So wow. Yeah, and then some of them. I'm one of the organizer. And they mm -hmm. organize a comedy show, and some of my comedian friends also organize their show. And then, for example, day after tomorrow, I will perform. One of my British friends organize a show in a British pub in Chonkoto, <laughs> so I will perform there. Yeah. And who have you found like better as an audience, the the locals or the foreigners? Uh, because my show sometimes it's a horrible because there are many Japanese audience. Because Japanese <laughs> audience. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my comedy show to study English. 
actually, sometimes when they understand English, they are so happy and laugh. Oh, I understand. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, it's quite a difficult, you know, especially like、uh, some foreign comedians speak so far as. And then very you know dirty jokes or say something like a kind of slang words, so we they can understand you know that's why all my comedian friends call my comedy show mental training. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah.、Uh, so you said that you incorporate like Japanese culture and、uh, like Japanese references, but you translate like you translate them in English in your shows, right? What gave you the idea to do that? Uh, because uh, in Paris, in France, in Paris, one comedian organized a show. It is named、uh, "How to Become a Parisian in One Hour," and then he he organized stand up English stand up comedy show for foreign tourists, and then he just talked about like a、uh, Parisian for one hour, and、mm-hmm. then every weekend before this pandemic, every weekend he you know. He organized a show in a big theater, and the many people、uh, visit his show, watch his show, and he he has a very good views. So I knew him, and then I just like stole his idea, and <laughs> yeah, maybe I can do it in Japan. But <laughs> but my show was very very small, like because sometimes、mm-hmm. like、five audience, three audience.、Mm-hmm. I have I have been performed. Just for only one audience, twelve <laughs> times. Can you believe twelve times? Just for one one audience. Yeah. Wow! A、yeah. full show. How was it? How was it? It was actually they are very nice, you know. And,、yes. uh, yeah, that's why they have to laugh, you know. So that's why、oh, okay. every time I say punchline, I just wait. That's my punchline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I if I were audience. It would it would be hell, you know. <laughs> yeah, the one person in the audience and one there. Yeah, and one time, <laughs> Chinese girl, one Chinese girl came to my show, but she couldn't understand English, but she misunderstood, you know, and then book my show, and then we went to karaoke together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we canceled the show. Maybe karaoke, yeah, and then we. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's better. That's more fun. <laughs> That can be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Karaoke. And then she gave、okay. me five stars, you know. She gave me five stars. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, you know, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Amazing.、Um, all right, Mishita. Can we get a little bit into the tough question? I'm going to ask you a question. If you're comfortable, please answer. I heard, from what I understand, that people in Japan don't have too much sex. The young boys <laughs> don't have it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. I want to understand. <laughs> I want, yes, to remove any stigma and stereotype. Um, yeah, I, what's happening? <laughs> actually, of course, two types of young Japanese people. You know, one Japanese young people are like a sex a lot. They go to nightclub and they sex a lot. But other type of Japanese are like very shy and they kind of you know living in a manga world or anime world. You know, like, <laughs> they're shy. And I think nowadays the number of shy are like a kind of、mm, virgin Japanese. Young people increased compared to before. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh wow! And、uh, what what do you prefer more the the sex crazy world or the the manga anime? I mean, what is this question? <laughs> I'm trying to understand. <laughs> what understand what? Like, yeah, yeah, what's yeah, better?、Yeah. What would I choose if、yeah. I if I were living in Japan? I don't know. I've never read manga. I've only、yeah. seen one anime. <laughs> I see Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Because one reason why young Japanese people are not interested in sex because,、uh, actually, like a、uh, they are like a、uh, because they realize you know you know having a date and having sex you know they have to spend a lot of money and spend a lot of time. They realize it's not good. It's not efficient. You know? <laughs> 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 and maybe you should look into that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because you know, if, for example, if you they have a kind of sex with women, you know, sex with women, so you have to ask date, you know, and then first date, second date, sometimes maybe usually third date, you know. Sometimes, of course, one night stand happens, but usually, if you're serious, you have to ask three times. You know, you spend a lot of money and then blah blah blah. Yeah, so they are so tired, you know. <laughs> and、uh, we have to end up paying for the first date, second date, you know. 
yeah. has to reach, you know, like you have to get past the fifth date mark, maybe then she'll start thinking about paying you know, all of this like, kind of bullshit. Maybe sometimes at the third date, she's, she just stops responding to your text and like, oh, okay, so I wasted three dates on you. Like it's all of this bullshit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um, yeah, they don't want to spend money and time. And then, yeah. So, that's at least why, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so, then they realize, you know, you know, sometimes they spend a lot of money and time, have a sex, but nothing, you know. And why I spend a lot of money, you know? <laughs> that's not be okay. You know? <laughs> now we have a VR, you know, VR Google and the Tenga, you know, Tenga, like on a hall, how can I say? Like a Tenga is a very famous Japanese sex toys. Oh, very okay. Cool. Oh, you don't know Tenga? Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys are much older. They're very young. You should understand Tenga. And if you, don't want to. you know, experience Tenga, you don't need to have a sex. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. VR, VR and Tenga, like, uh, you know, become Japanese guys, people. Like, uh, like yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. What do you say? Uh, yes, uh, please tell us uh, some more, Mashida. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't, we don't, I don't the know. Tech is, uh, material, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I upload a video about Tenga. Yeah, please, you know, check out my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right, we'll check out the YouTube channel for the information. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, and for you, you're someone who's lived in or you visited the UK. Have you performed yeah. stand up comedy outside of Japan? And do you like performing? Yeah. Yes, where have you performed and where do you like, like, what was your favorite place to perform outside of Japan? Uh, actually, I, I really like performing, you know, in the UK because when I perform <laughs> in Japan, actually, uh, mainly like, uh, when I perform for like a local audience, they know Japan a lot, you know, they, they know local things. So I can talk about very specific uh, culture, like supermarket things, like, uh, you know, something like that. But when I go abroad, so I use my Japanese perspective to make, you know, uh, th then make fun of other countries, culture or people, you know, in a funny way. Of course, first I will do self deprecating jokes. Then I will kind of talk about something using my Japanese perspective. So I really like, you know, uh, doing that. Yeah. I see. All right, cool. And uh, what's, um, what's your Japanese perspective on um, the Black Friday holiday? So today's the Black Friday holiday. This is where... <laughs> So I woke up at 3 a.m. today, I got up, I woke up all my roommates, we got by the computer and we were like, okay, there's only 12 more treadmills and we bought a treadmill. Oh, there's only three more robot <laughs> vacuums and I bought a robot vacuum. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yes, and then my friends are going to the mall, to Target, and then literally people oh trample each other, like step on each other and kill each other. <laughs> to, get, to go and buy a What's up with Americans and Stampedes? You guys watch The Lion King too much. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can use that in your stand-up comedy. I give yeah, you Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, but recently, actually, we, uh, some Japanese companies start Black Friday things, you know? Yeah, but first we couldn't understand what is a Black Friday, you know? Many Black people come to Japan, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we can't understand what is that Black Friday, you know? What, you know? Yeah, but now we understand it. Many, like, uh, Japanese, you know, domestic internet companies that Black Friday sell, you know? Yeah, so now we understand, yeah. yeah. Okay. Amazing. And um, what about you? What got um, you more into stand up comedy? I want to hear about. Like, who were your favorite comedians growing up? Did you watch, uh, like, American comedians or did you watch Japanese comedians or...? Yeah, uh, to be honest, actually, until, you know, when I was a university student, I mean, I watched, you know, stand-up first time. Actually, we Japanese are not interested in, like, uh, foreign comedy, you know? Because mm -hmm. we believe our comedy is the best, you know? <laughs> yeah, and we are not interested in, you know, because we are a very homogeneous country and a very domestic, you know, humor. So I grew up with Japanese comedy. That's why I really, when I was a kid, I really like, you know, I didn't, I only know Japanese comedian. Yeah. Mm. So, but when I was a university student, mm -hmm. my British English teacher recognized, you know, uh, how can I recognize, uh, no, uh, 
advised me to watch English comedy to study English. So then I started watching. First, I watched Little Britain. <laughs> Have you ever watched Little Britain? Little Britain. Little Britain? Is that a kid's show? It's a comedy, com sketch comedy. In the okay, I grew up on Little Britain. Britain. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of, you know, dirty jokes and then kind of <laughs> racist joke. But I realized I really like it, you know? Yeah. Because in Japan, we <laughs> have those kind of humors, you know? Like, uh, so. Then I started watching, like, uh, stand up comedy. And first, I really love Louis C.K. Yeah. Louis C.K., yeah, of course, David Chappelle. Right. Yeah, and they're like a very famous one. And Sarah Silverman. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and now I really like Ali Wong and uh, Jimmy, huh? like a uh, one Asian guy, Jimmy Yang, like a uh, Jimmy Yang. I, I think about him. Yes, he 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 appeared on in the movie, I know drama, uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah, Jimmy Yang, maybe. Yeah. Oh, right. True. All right. Yeah. Um, amazing. So uh, you said. Um, that style of like dirty comedy, racist comedy, is that like um, <laughs> fine in, in Japan or is it more uh, controversial um, in Japan? Like you said, is it is it different? Like this Japanese comedy from the Japanese comedian, are those controversial also and they make fun of people and they're racist and offensive? Or is it just uh, this new wave you're bringing in? First of all, in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, end of comedy style is not so popular. No mm -hmm. one knows stand-up comedy style. Now in Japan, comedy duo is very popular. Oh. The Asian things, you know, like two comedians make fun of each other. Maybe in the US, in the UK, maybe 1970s, like more than 30 or 40 years ago, comedy yeah. duo was popular. And in okay. Japan, still, you know, comedy duo is very popular. I and see. if you want to be a famous Japanese comedian, I think you should do a comedy duo. You find your partner, and then you join the competition. Yeah, that's the, like a Japanese comedy thing. And they usually they slapstick jokes. Of course, they sometimes some comedians, many there are many comedians and there are many kinds of double acts they do, but some comedians do satire jokes. But compared to you know foreign comedy, our satire joke is more casual, you know. I see. Family friendly right. satire jokes. Yeah. As how is this affecting how is this uh, affecting you as a comedian? Because like yeah. if it's if everyone is doing like duo comedy when you're doing solo stand-up like how's this uh, affecting your work uh because i i really like japanese comedy uh i really like slapsticks but since when i was a kid i really like that humor you know but, <laughs> I, no, I can say that you know even yes. though i say Sometimes I say, and then my friend laughed, but they say, oh my, you're shit, you know, <laughs> but in Japanese comedy theme, so if I want to be a like, successful comedian, you know, I can't do that, you know, because, you know, if you want to be a comedian in Japan, you should go to comedy school first. <laughs> oh, okay. All famous like a requirement. Comedy, yeah, all famous comedy agency have comedy school. Like uh, we have three or four big comedy agency, talent agency, and they have a comedy school for their business. And then first they go to school and they study there one year. Basically they learn like uh, how to act, you know, in a kind of celebrities, you know, like a TV world, you know, we call it like a, how can I say celebrity world, you know, once you celebrity become world, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> into the celebrity world, they are a strong seniority system, you know. Wow. Then if I go to school, even though, for example, when I was 20, when I was 27, I quit my job and I went to the UK. So if I went to the, I quit my job and I wanted to be a Japanese comedian. So I went to the school and I was, I'm 27. Okay. But, hmm. you know, like uh, last, last year, if 18 years old guy graduated from school, I'm a junior. That's why I have to, you know, say hi, you know, very polite to be a how can I say? I have to respect to like 80 years old, you know. Very formal. <laughs> <laughs> and even I, I experience a lot, you know. Yeah, but yeah. That, that's a rule, you know. Like when you start your career, that's the hierarchy. That's why okay. Japanese comics really worry about how how long, you know, did you work in the industry, you know. It's it's right. not, it's like a <clears throat> kind of the position. 
Hey, so agent experience oh. basically helps you climb the ladder of success, right? And that's yeah, how you yeah, get the respect yeah, yeah. in Japan as a comedian. So yeah. my question to you is, where would you place yourself in this uh, hierarchy? <laughs> so what, what do you mean, like uh, my hierarchy in Japan? Yeah, like where, where are you in this hierarchy of things, the seniority of things? Because it depends on like uh, how long you are there. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this for? In in Japanese? Yeah. In Japanese, I have actually like uh, I have never tried comedy double act, you know. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Yeah, that's why I don't know, you know, because I started doing comedy in English almost ten years ago. So if I'm a kind of Japanese comedian, I think you know my first kind of uh stage was my career start you know that's yeah, why no, my no. experience in 10 years i'm 10 years in stand-up scene so if i meet like a uh, people you know like a uh, 12 years kind of experience so he is or she or he is my senior you know even though <clears throat> yeah. they're younger than me you know that's a very but isn't this like doesn't this sort of restrict them to the to just the japanese market as in like they can't you know, go with their comedy globally, since they're just, they're studying, uh, like, from Japanese comedy schools, and they're taking only the perspective of uh, what they get taught in Japan, and they only perform in Japan. So doesn't that only put them in one market? It makes them, like, very restricted? Uh, just in Japan, you know, in Japan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just in Japan, yeah, it works. Only that so Japan like, you think. Doesn't this, like, make it a very restricted market for the comedians? uh restrict the market for the comedians so uh actually i i, I can't understand what question means Sorry. like mishida you are worldwide we found you on the internet <laughs> yeah i'm watching you from america <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yes yeah, versus like Jordan, it's, right and right the middle yeah. east literally we're all over the world watching you mishida you're mr international versus people <laughs> who go to these Jap japanese schools um right and they become top performers in japan it's not necessary that me or Said or ali would even like they're only famous them. in japan but not right. famous outside so the question is why would you stay in japan why not go worldwide uh, okay okay sorry 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 actually yeah that's a question basically uh because actually i realized the reason why I came back to Japan from the UK, of course, money is a reason, <laughs> but so I realized of if I organize if I organize good English stand-up comedy show here, I'm the only Japanese comic, you know, uh, organized English comedy show here in Japan. And then nowadays, before this pandemic, uh, there are many foreign tourists visiting Japan, came to Japan. And in Japan, actually, we have a lot of, you know, nightclubs, our you know, kind of restaurant bars, but we don't have much entertainment, like entertainment, like a, like a musical or a comedy. That's why I realized maybe I can make it, you know, so I can get, get, get the money. Yeah. And so that's why I decided to stay here now. But of course, in the future, maybe half of the year, I mean, like I stay here and then rest of the year, I, I travel all over the world. That's my kind of ideal kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. If you came so to Los Angeles, to I'd watch you. Yeah? I would watch you. Yeah. Oh, I would watch you too, yeah. Yes. I'd come to <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so what made you choose the, the UK when you said you, you went there for 10 months? What made you choose the UK? Uh, because I really love, you know, American stand-up comedian. I like Louis C.K., David Chappelle. But mm -hmm. uh, I really like British humor. I don't know why, you know? Yeah. Actually, no, no, it's, yeah, it's a good humor. Yeah. Yeah, because I really like witty joke and then kind of brutal joke. Our <laughs> yeah, so, because I think I, they just have more more tough skin than the Americans. Yeah, dirty maybe. jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then my I think American audience are more sensitive when it comes to religion. <laughs> yeah, that's that's but very true. In Britain, like uh, I feel like uh, compared to American audience. Not so much, you know. They they mm. understand it's a joke, you know. But now in the US, maybe you know because you know the David Chappelle shows. You know, after his new shows, many things happen. You know, people are very sensitive. Yeah, they are. Very. <laughs> yeah, what's your opinion? So, what's your opinion on that, by the way? What's your opinion on what happened to Dave Chappelle after his show? 
Yeah, actually, yeah, nowadays, actually, like a far left of our liberal, some liberal people are very sensitive and then kind the of, tards. yeah, <laughs> I, I can understand why it's a joke, you know, yeah. So, you know what they're doing? Sensitivity kills comedy. That's what I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why, kills for example, comedy. I told you guys, my favorite show was Little Britain. Yeah, but actually, that show includes a lot of racial jokes, our you know, disabled jokes, disabled people's jokes. Nowadays, actually, all like a streaming site uh, kind of cancels that drama and like that comedy show because it's not good, you know, nowadays. 20 years ago, it's okay, but nowadays, no, you know, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was your favorite comedy show. I want to watch it now. I want to find this little Britain show and check it yeah, out. I think I'm going <laughs> to check it out myself as well. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I'm not sure, you know, you guys like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> we have to scan. In the UK, it, it became very kind of popular, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Mashida, can I ask you, so did you ever try to go the traditional Japanese route? And did you try to find like a partner at any time? Did you try to become part of a duo or you just did not even want to do that? Uh, because some of my friends are Japanese, you know, like a comedians mm -hmm. in Japan. And then they went to the school. And sometimes I went to their, their like a kind of performance, like a live shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when um, it's not like a professional kind of uh, gig, but sometimes, for example, in Japan, like a wedding ceremony, like a bride and groom's friend, like I do sometimes surprise performance. I always, you know, do a comedy duo with my friend and they make fun of like a bride and groom in a funny way. So I have a experience to perform, but not like a kind of professional state, just like a full farm. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so fun. I want to ask you a little bit about the um, like schooling to become a comedian. From what I understand, it's the same thing for music, right? Like people yeah. who want to become J-pop musicians, artists, they have to go through a kind of school um, to become J-pop musicians. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you like the J-pop scene? Do you like go to a lot of J-pop shows? I'm not, I'm sorry for I don't want to stereotype. I'm just asking. <laughs> no, no, it's for okay. Yeah, of yeah, yes. I grew up in Japan. I love J-pop. Of course, I really like to go to karaoke sometimes and sing J-pop. Yeah, and and when it comes to comedy school now, one of my friends he quit his job. He is 35, okay, and he went to comedy school, and then. Uh, now, actually, uh, he is a kind of bottom of the hierarchy. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So, but he he said very interesting things. You know, he went to one of the very big big comedy school, and the first he learned in the school, if you want to be a famous in the Japanese comedy scene or TV shows, don't say political jokes, sexual jokes, and too much satire jokes, you know, sarcastic jokes. And he learned first class, you know, so. Oh, wow. Those are my favorite jokes. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, like political right. and satire jokes are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's why right. I, I really like, you know, kind of uh, doing Japanese comedy. But if I want to be a famous or like successful comedian, I can do that. Of course, if you don't care, you just focus on the live shows and like, uh, it's okay, you can do that. But if you want to be a successful comedian, it's not good to say that, you know? Yeah. Okay. So Sounds when you say good. successful comedian, you mean in Japan or in general? In, in Japan. Oh, okay. Yes. Right. Yeah, because only in Japan, because our comedy is very domestic, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I want to yeah. ask you a question. This might be a little controversial also, but I want... Just to ask you, Machine, I just want to understand. <laughs> From what I understand, there are shows in Japan, J-pop shows, where there are young girls singing and performing, but the whole audience is just grown-up men. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, is this yeah. a thing? Can you please help uh, me understand what's <laughs> happening? Because this is not normal in the United States. This not, does not happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. But, of course, uh, not... <laughs> All Japanese men love idol, but of course, media pick up the one thing. You know, all adult Japanese like uh, go to the live show, like yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. But it's true, you know. Usually, 
Japanese man help, you know, like、uh, ID one idol, you know, support one idol. They misunderstand, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So, yeah. So it's, it's、uh, kind of a misunderstanding. These people are trying to help out these idols and stuff, and then the media takes it and spins it. No, no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, the guys, Japanese guys, misunderstand, you know. I'm helping her. Yeah, because every time I go there, you know, help, him, help them, you know, but to be honest, just business, you know. Yeah. Actually, like, <laughs> <laughs> they are very kind of sad guys, you know, like,、uh, how can I say, you know, yeah, miserable guys at some, <laughs> some point. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, so, Mishida, I have a question. I、yeah. want to talk a little bit about Funny Japan Project. So, oh, you know is, that? <laughs> yeah, what is Funny Japan Project? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I, I'm doing that now.、Uh, to be honest, five years ago, I went to the UK and one comedy group called Funny Japan Project, and then they created funny people you know, through their shows. So, I think, oh, this is, this is a very good idea. So, I want to make a team, you know,、uh, the comedians, you know, introduce Japan in a funny way and, you know, try to kind of make Japan kind of funny country, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's my concept. But now I don't know, you know. <laughs> Why wait? But that's a good concept because, if yeah, thought, yeah. like, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but when I think of Japan, I think of, you know, like, Strict, serious,、uh, straight face, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's the st- image. Yeah, stereotypical yeah. image. But that's a stereotypical honest, image. I'm right. You're right. But yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of a little bit different. We have a different side. Of course, we have a kind of very serious side, a very polite side. Like very but, conservative and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once, for example, after working, start drinking, we, we show a different personality. Usually, we don't show it to foreigners. You know? <laughs> right. Is there, a reason? is there a reason you don't show it to foreigners as, as Japanese? Like, is it something to do with the culture or what's the reasoning behind that? Because, first of all, most Japanese people cannot speak English and they don't know I mean, how to、yeah. talk with foreigners, you know,、right. and how to explain it in English.、Mm-hmm. So, that's why. Kind of our culture is very domestic, and、um, maybe foreign people can understand, you know. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. So, but, and humor is a different. That's kind of,、uh, humor <clears throat> is a different. So now I'm studying, you know, Western humor, and I really want to introduce Japan kind of using Western humor. Sometimes,、right. Like、uh, some Japanese big comedy agency t r y to do that, but they, they don't know. They, 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 didn't, they don't learn foreign humor. They just believe Japanese comedy is the best. And then they just do it and then promote to Asia as a country. But I think it's kind of difficult you know, to make people laugh because they just use like, physical jokes. Or, you know, so I really want to make a kind of group of organized. Organization, our group, and then people understand like a foreign humor and they introduce Japan in a funny way. So that's the thing I really、oh. want to do. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think、I'm... in time that it will work out because, I mean, right now, okay, people will probably resist change, but eventually they'll, they'll start to come to accept it, especially once, you know, they get introduced more to Western comedians and then they'll be more interested in your comedy. So just needs a bit of time. That's usually how it works.、So. Yeah, 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 yeah.、Mm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the future of the、uh, Funny Japan project? Because <laughs> this is still gonna like, because I support that idea. I think you should do it. If oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, now I'm one of the kind of like a big organizer in Japan now. So, I organize kind of comedy show there.、Um, so, first, I want to make a comedy club, a comedy, not, on, not only my show, my solo show. I organize the comedy show. A local, maybe eight local comedians perform. And then, even like a foreign comedian, they are living in Japan and then they know our culture, you know? And then, so they talk about life in Japan, our Japanese culture. And then I want to kind of、uh, sell it to foreign tourists, you know? When, After this pandemic, I organize those that kind of comedy shows as far as I want to do. Yeah. 
Oh, well. Right. Well, well, full support to you yes. and to all the com Japan comedians. comedians. I want to ask you, uh, Mishida, real quick. Do you know how many people live in Japan? Do you know what the population of Japan is? Oh, uh, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to, how to say it in English, sorry. Ichiyoku. The number. Ichiyoku, uh, but very sorry, I have to. Population of Japan. Ichiyoku, yeah, I can also yeah. Because I'm just trying to figure out, because there's so much art that comes out of Japan, like so much movies, manga, anime, music, um, and what is, yeah, is it like, is everyone just very efficient in Japan? Is everyone like very creative making stuff? Or is it just a small uh, percentage of the people doing that? I know, like how, how come, why, why do you think Japan has such a very rich culture? Because, that makes so much amazing yeah. art. When it comes to like a manga, anime, we yeah. we are kind of we don't have any religion, you know. We don't have a kind of. For example, Christian country. Do you guys have a, some rules, you know? Like a violence, right. no. Oh my god, sex. To young people have a sex, no, you know. <laughs> we uh, we think there are many gods, you know. Like uh, me, how can I say English? Like uh, not atheist, but we believe there are many gods, you know. And then right. we don't care about religious things, you know, we can express, you know, anything I, see. I, want, I want, you know. So the but freedom of expression. Yeah, freedom yeah. of expression. But recently, foreign people come to Japan and then find a very sexual poster and what the fuck this, you know, feminist. <laughs> <laughs> this is for kids, you know, why, you know. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, that's um, why literally, you know, we feel that, you know, we try to fix the program, but, you know, compared to, I think, other countries, we have a lot of freedom of kind of speech, not free, freedom of expression, kind of, when it comes mm. to story and manga, anime, yeah. I see, I see, cool. Yeah, I mean, I really love, um, like, all that Japanese movies and art. Uh, can, do you, can you give us, like, um, this is the last question I want to ask you, but can you give us, like, some recommendations for, like, uh, Japanese movies that us foreigners can watch and enjoy, and if there are any comedy Japanese movies we can watch? Uh, Japanese movie? Uh, recently, I think there are many good Yakuza movie. And oh. Recently, you know, Japanese Yakuza losing their power and then... Damn! They are, they are aging. After all these years! Yeah, recently, they are aging and then they use their power. And that, that's why now in Japan, there are many Chinese mafia and then just a oh, gang right. became very popular. Yeah, so, yeah. And then nowadays, uh, our kind of <clears throat> movie depict those kind of Yakuza's reality. So I think one of the movie, I don't know what is the English title. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yakuza is also a video game that I've played, which uh, is a great game. Oh my yeah. God, yeah, PS1? Yeah. Uh, there's some new one, newer ones too. Yeah, really? Yeah, they, they, they keep PS4. making. Yeah. There's multiple. Uh, yeah, it's a whole trilogy. All right, and as I'm speaking of games, like Ghost of Tsushima, so many Japanese games. That, yeah. That's stranded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know the English title. That is fine. <laughs> to look it up. Best Japanese comedy movies. Wait, so, so, so here's my question. What's your favorite? Sorry. What's your favorite, what what's your favorite, what's your favorite anime? That's what I want to know. My favorite anime. Uh, I like, Maybe of all I like, time, something new, something old. I I really like you know, Ghost in Shell before and then. Okay. Um, now I like uh, recently I like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Ooh. The okay. very new Jujutsu Kaisen, and right. of course I like Attack on Titan. Shingeki no Kyojin. Shingeki no Kyojin. One Piece. Actually, right. last night. I went to Manga Kisa, like Manga Kisa is like I can manga, you know, a lot. Yeah. I haven't read One Piece for a long time. I really right. want to read it. And I went to Manga Kisa. I stayed there like uh, seven hours, you know. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Manga, you know. Dude, I, yeah. I just started One Piece, so I have a long way ahead of me. Yeah, <laughs> but, it, but I think it, it's worth to read it because One Piece continued like a 20 years, not 20 years. I mean, yeah, 20 years now, I think, almost 20 years, yeah. 
favorite now? My favorite is Jujutsu Kaisen. I can say right. that. My favorite will always be Naruto Shippuden and Naruto. Oh, Naruto, yeah. Naruto. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it, it, it means you like Japanese high school girls, no? Thank you for watching Ali. another episode of H to the Show. Right. 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 So, right. as much as we enjoyed filming it for you, please like, subscribe, and share. Yes, uh, this has been Thank a wonderful so episode with our great guest, uh, <laughs> Machida Song. Thank you so very much for coming. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, my you know English, you know, I'm studying. No, so you're hard. you're English. Next Don't year, worry about it. Next year, maybe I'm better. You know, I hope so. Yeah, you're Amazing. you're doing just fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please again like, subscribe, share, follow. Mashida will leave his account in the description below. Uh, Mashida, is there anything you'd like to let the world know? Thank you. Thank you. Well, well thank, thank you, you Mashida. I can't wait to one day maybe watch you in person in a comedy yeah, show. Honestly, yes. I really want to go abroad. You know, London. You know, San Francisco. You stay there. Hope Los Angeles, Los Angeles. <laughs> Los Angeles. Sorry. Even better. Yes, if you ever come have a show here, I will come and watch you and bring my friends. And can I ask <laughs> Ali? Ali, you know, where are you yes. living now? Me? Yeah. I'm in Jordan, which is in the Middle East. Ah, Middle East. Wow. Yes. Next to Lebanon. <laughs> Very diverse, you know, like a podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you. Well, Ali Gato Gozaimas. Thank you. Peace, love, happiness. We'll see you. <laughs>